I'm so happy Cause today from my friends You're in my head Kurt Cobain is here. You know, Kurt Cobain from Aberdeen. Okay. What's going on, baby? Not a damn thing. That's good. How are you? I was good, you know, I was just hanging out here on the Boy Meets Girl show and got a call from you saying you want to come in and play some songs. <laughs> and I said, rockin' good news! Bloody brilliant. So what, are you gonna play some new tunes for us? Yes, I'm going to play some tunes for you. Cool, cool. And everyone else. Uh, I wrote most of the lyrics this morning. So you wrote them while you were in the car on the way here? Yeah, well, I, I was driving with one foot. Uh-huh. I, I try to be as spontaneous as possible. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I did. I just thought I'd come up here to say hi. Well, there we are. Okay. Uh, this song's called Opinion. for maybe a little while, but it was almost more special going into like secondhand stores and thrift shops and maybe finding that one treasure that you really like and it's more of a stab in the dark because you don't know if you're going to be able to afford it or not. And to me that was more special than if I just went in with a thousand dollars and bought the whole store. I honestly, I don't care what anyone had to say about my drug use. I mean, I could have blamed it on how so many rock stars like Keith Richards and Jimi Hendrix did it. And I just thought that it was something that as a rock star you do, you know, to relieve the pain. But I knew from the very beginning that just like marijuana, after a while it would become just as boring as breathing air. My dad used to hit me when I'd be at a restaurant and I'd spill milk or something. What kind of person is it who would do that just because they're embarrassed at their kid? So now, you know, when I spill or drop something, I still feel really bad and I put myself down for it constantly. Fuck him for that. When I was a kid, there were so few shows on TV. We used to watch stuff like HR Puff and stuff. I mean, everything was really simple and easy, but nowadays, kids are expected to grow up really fast and so much more is expected of them.
You know you dropped the baby the other day? You dropped the baby. What? You dropped the baby. You dropped Francis. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Courtney. Goodbye, Kurt. Dear Vada, speaking from the tongue of an experienced simpleton, we'd rather be a moody, emasculated, infantile complaining. This note should be pretty easy to understand. All the warnings from the punk rock one of the courses over the years, since the, shall we say, introduction to the embracement of your community have proven to be very true. I haven't felt the excitement of reading and writing, as well as playing guitar, for too many years since. I feel like I should have a punch-in time clock when I'm on stage. For example, when I'm on stage and a manic roar of the crowd begins, it doesn't affect me in the same way as it did with Freddie Mercury, who seemed to love and relish in the love and adoration of the crowd. I have nothing more to say, and so remember, it's better to burn out than to fade away. Peace, love, empathy, Kurt Cobain. Francis and Courtney, I'll be at your altar. I love you. I love you.